This is the first year we have uh, done two crops in Opoli House. Uh, uh, we wanted to try it out, understand and learn what happens when you have two crops in Opoli House, what challenges you face. Uh, so this has helped us learn a lot uh, over the last three, six, three to six months. Uh, so we'll see. And then uh, probably next year when we meet again, uh, you will get to know whether we have decided to take multiple crops in a poly house or we have decided to go with a single crop. So uh, this is one of our largest poly houses uh, that we have today. Uh, we're going to have similar uh, three more poly houses uh, down the road. Uh, this poly house is, uh, is giving us two crops right now, uh, cherry tomatoes and capsicum. We have 3,000 uh, cherry tomato plants as well as 3,000 uh, capsicum plants. So uh, a unique thing about cherry tomatoes is it's a wine crop. It grows almost 50 feet tall. Usually a crop, uh, a plant will give you about four and a half kgs of uh, fruits uh, in, a, in a season, which is about seven months long, uh, provided you take good care of it. Good care in the sense that you have to prune the leaves almost regularly. You have to provide the right uh, level of nutrition. You have to watch for the pH so that the plant gets a little acidic water, but not too much acidic, neither too, uh, too alkaline. If you take care of those things, you'll really get a good yield out of this crop. Uh, so in about three thousand uh, plants that I have, I should be able to get about 12,000 uh, or 12 tons of tomatoes in a year, which is a really good yield uh, and would give us good profits at the end of the year. So every plant usually will give you about uh, 25 to 30 trusses. Now, when I say a truss, what it means is basically this is a single truss wherein you see about 15 to 18 tomatoes growing. And usually they start ripening from the bottom and then they'll grow all the way up to the top. Uh, either I can sell these as a single truss. Now I can remove this, pack it, and by the time it reaches the customer, it's going to ripen and provide the right flavor. Or I can pick individual tomatoes and take it to the market. It depends on what the market requirements are. Usually today we are doing uh, plucking individual tomatoes, but whenever there is a demand for a truss, we as well do that as well. So you know, we have done half and half. This is where the tomatoes uh, end, and uh, we have started uh, capsicums up here. Uh, we have done two varieties of capsicum, uh, red and yellow. Um, usually that is how the farmers would uh, do it because market demands a pair, right, the capsicums in pairs. Uh, we have done about 1500 plants of uh, red capsicum and 1500 plants of uh, yellow capsicum. Usually uh, you would see that the, uh, the capsicums would start with the green color and that's how your normal capsicums would look like. But over a period of time, once they are starting to ripen, they'll start to change colors. And here's a good example where now the capsicum has turned completely red. Now this is a little late for harvest. Now normally what we do is we harvest the crop when it is about 70% color change. That way by the time it hits the customer, the customer's table, it completely turns red or yellow and the customer is really happy with the product that we have provided them.